Hi, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today it is coming up to Valentine's and we're gonna make this gorgeous I love you gingerbread teddy. And with this teddy, you get the best of both worlds. We've got this lovely spicy gingerbread cookie, but the heart cookie in the center literally melts in your mouth. It's a lovely shortbread. So let's get on and make this I love you teddy bear. Now I have 50 grams of softened butter here. My butter is not super soft, it's a little bit cold here in Sicily, but I'm just gonna cut it up, and that's 50 grams of butter, which is about half a stick US. With the butter, I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, and we're just going to cream together our sugar and butter. My butter's a little bit firm, so it might take a little longer than you. Next, just take an egg. Now I actually don't want all of this egg, so, I'm just going to beat it up in the bowl and then I'm just going to take half of it, add it in with my mix. I just beat the egg in with the sugar and butter. Now this is our gingerbread cookie. I'm adding some dark treacle in with this. You can use molasses. I'm going for a third of a cup of this lovely sticky goo. Add it to our mix. I'll spice this up with a teaspoon of mixed spice or pumpkin spice and a teaspoon of powdered ginger. And just mix that through, get a nice even paste. This smells absolutely delicious, by the way. Now I want 225 grams of all-purpose flour. It's about one and three quarters of a cup. Add our flour in with our batter. And then using the spoon, I'm just gonna to start to turn this into a cookie dough. Now as it binds together like sand, start with a spoon, end with the hands. We're just gonna pull this dough together so it becomes a nice firm ball. You're gonna have this wonderful smooth and slightly crumbly cookie dough. Now set that aside. I'm gonna chill it briefly in the fridge while I make a delicious shortbread. Next, we're gonna make that melt in the mouth shortbread and it's nice to have the combination of the two cookies. I've got my 50 gram half a stick of butter again. Again, I'm just going to break this up into my bowl. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of sugar in with this. I want 75 grams of flour. Now that's about two thirds of a cup for my American friends. Add that in with my butter and sugar. Now it's optional, but I'm gonna take a little bit of Wilton coloring gel maybe about two or three drops. I'm gonna pop it in there with my cookie mix. At this time, we want to be a little more gentle. What we're going to do, <laughs> get that red coloring in there. What I'm gonna do is rub the butter and the flour together. So you're just sort of pinching everything between your thumb and your forefinger. You'll end up with this nice sandy crumb. And now what I'm going to do is just pull this together, a little squeeze, and you'll see it starts to bind. Now. Unlike the gingerbread cookie, we've got a much looser crumbly dough and that's exactly what we want. I wanna set this aside just for five minutes or so to chill in the fridge. Now, this is chilled up a little bit in the fridge. I'm going to flour my counter, take my gingerbread cookie dough and I'm gonna square it up a little bit, a little bit of flour on top and then take a rolling pin and we're just going to gently roll this out. You can turn it as you go. Now the cookie dough doesn't want to be too thin. It actually wants to be quite a thick cookie dough. Looking about quarter of an inch, maybe about four or five millimeters. Now I've got my teddy bear cutter here. I'm gonna get fairly close to the edge so we don't waste too much. I'm gonna push that down. Give it a, a little wiggle to make sure you're all the way through. Now we can pull away these excess bits of dough. And there is our first gingerbread teddy bear. Now I'm gonna slide a pallet knife under there, lift the little fella up, and we're just gonna lay him out on a lined cookie tray. Now I'll get on and cut out some more teddies. So we got six teddies from that mix. Now we've got this lovely shortbread here and we don't want to overwork it. It's a very crumbly dough. So I'm just gonna flatten it down with my hands. Tiny little bit of flour on top. I'm gonna to finish it with the rolling pin just to get a flat surface. And don't worry if it cracks like that, you can just ease it together. We want to make it about the same thickness as our gingerbread. Got a little heart cutter here, and I'm just going to cut myself out a little shortbread heart. I need six of those. Now back here with the gingerbread teddies, I'm going to take my heart cutter, I'm gonna place it in the chest area of the teddy bear. We're gonna push and cut our way through the gingerbread. 
hopefully the heart will lift out like that. And you might as well pop these hearts down and bake them separately because they're good little cookies by themselves. Now I'm gonna get one of those shortbread cookies and we're gonna lift it over here and we're just gonna give this little teddy bear a heart. Now I've preheated my oven to 175 degrees Celsius, that 350 Fahrenheit, but just before they go in, we want to give our teddy some eyes. Here I have a number six piping nozzle and I'm going to use it just to give the teddy some eyes and a nose. Now when we pop these in the oven, you only need to bake these for about 10 or 11 minutes. They don't want to go too brown. Well, the house smells of gingerbread. Come down here, take a look at these guys. They've cooked up just beautifully and that was just 10 minutes. What you can do soon after they've come out of the oven is just lift them off of the baking tray and pop them down onto a cookie rack to cool. What I love about baking gingerbread cookies is the whole house smells absolutely gorgeous. And notice the new gingerbreads are a little bit darker than the old ones. That's because we used dark sugar for this one and white sugar, so that makes just a little bit of difference. Now they're still just a little bit warm, but I can assure you that when you give these to somebody, they're gonna have that lovely gingerbread and this cookie in the center is going to absolutely melt. Now I've also got those little gingerbread hearts as well. Let's give this a try. Oh, lovely crunch. Don't you just love gingerbread cookies? They taste absolutely delicious. Now, if you decide to make these I love you gingerbread bears for your loved one this Valentine's, I know they're gonna love you for it. Share the love, give this video the thumbs up, and I will see you in the next recipe. Don't forget, comment down below. I love to hear what you have to say. Take care. Hey.